Good day everyone, my name is Yanaloa. Today we'll be looking at day 6 of the world top 10, which is security misconfiguration. As always, we are provided with the guideline to read for the vulnerability and we are told to get this misconfiguration and distinct from other top 10 vulnerabilities because they occur when security could have been configured properly but was not. So this type of vulnerability happens when developers are supposed to configure things to work properly but they fail to configure it properly so they use things such like we are giving example like poorly configured permissions on cloud service using default account to change passwords so many security configurations that we have because they would have configured it properly but they failed to so today it's we'll be looking at this very short task we have a practical example and we have a machine we can work with so before we deploy the machine as always make sure that we to the vpn so i open up the terminal and we'll connect to the vpn so once we are connected we can go and deploy the machine we'll give it some time to boot up and while that is going on you can read about said specifically this VM focuses on default password. That means for this machine, we'll be looking at security misvaluation about default passwords. They also talked about in botnets that happen sometimes in 2016, the Mirai botnet that exploited IoT devices using default passwords. This vulnerability is very interesting because developers could have just configured things properly but their inability to configure it properly leads to this vulnerability so now we'll try to head over to the page and see if it is up okay yes it is now we are, we are told that for this machine which is this default password so we can start by trying some default passwords we know like admin admin we could add over and try admin password we could try so many things and one of the things we should do when it comes to web back is to run a directory boot first so we'll do that I will use my I use FFUF as I have mentioned in some earlier tutorials FFUF is a boot directory boot first to written by terminal number manager on GitHub and it's pretty fast so we we'll just let this run and see if we find any results so we know we have a directory change pw so we check that this one we can change our password giving a username parents password and new password confirm password so okay it's done another that we have is css just a listing of the style sheets for the site we have the image folder nothing juicy we have the javascript folder same thing and we have the next html which is at home page so nothing interesting going back to our page we can check the ints it says can you find the app source code maybe the documentation gives you the first credentials you can try now taking this int you know when developers build and share projects it is common, especially when it comes to open source project, it's common for developers to upload their code somewhere and make it available to other people and they have documentation for it. So, as we have seen, there's no directory here, so, so we can't find the source code anywhere. The source code is not hosted on the web server itself. And we are able to check the app source code. So, one of the things we can check is places where people can upload their code. You know we have so many of them we have but the first that comes to mind is github we have github gitlab bitpocket 
the one that is popular and comes to mind is GitHub. So we start by checking GitHub. Then there are two ways to do it. So we start we use the first one by checking GitHub, then we'll try the other way using Google to find it. So on this page using GitHub you can actually search so the name of the of this is pensive note so we head over here and search for pensive and doing this you can look through and you can see we have this pensive note which is exactly the name of what we have here so we we'll, we'll check that and you can read through and if you look you see that on this page we have the first credentials which is pensive pensive notes so it uses the credentials and username is pensive pensive notes and since our machine date is that it is the first credential so we can head over and enter the username pensive then the password as pensive notes and once you do that you can see we are logged in and we can copy our flag now that's using the github method and i can close this then log out again then we use the other method which is to use google so you can actually find it on google too then you will just use pensive then instead of putting the space in between just remove the space and search for pensive notes so doing this you can see that google also indexed it and we have it here and we'll get to this place then you can look through this repo and you can see we have this pensive note then the same thing we have the username and the password so you could go ahead and clone the repo look into the database but there's nothing juicy there it's just a normal database that uses PPS statements and all so nothing really juicy in, in the source in the source code just documentation where we have the default username and password so that's all now we know the vulnerability is to teach us not to use default credentials so we are able to get to this machine by finding the source code and using default credentials provided by the developer that's all for day 6 thank you and we'll see you in day 7